What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for joining us today. We gotta take some stuff back. We borrowed a T8 and a T9, both with the Great Plains corn seeders and me and Jim might have wrecked them. Yeah, if you haven't caught the last episode, make sure you go check it out. It was hilarious. So we got to take everything back. Here's my problem. I don't think that this is going to fit. The, the cedar I know can, because I've already gotten one over there. It's this T9 with duels. I don't think this thing's going to fit through the pass. The Dangerous Mountain Pass. Um, let's see, we'll have to swing this out about as wide as we can, which is about there. Oh man, already getting stuck on something back there. Come on, uh-uh, don't you be doing that to me. Come on, get out of there. All right, that's the worst part right there. That is the worst part. In You'd think it's not, but it really is. So this dang tree, can can we not do something about this? Please, somebody, can can we... Is it just... What in the world? It's just hanging out. It's like growing out of the ground. Hmm, let's see. Can we get down about... Oh, it's still cutting down here. So about right there. Dun, 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 dun. Well, now it's out of the ground. Just gotta do something with it. Um, maybe that... Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Now I have to... Dang it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Come on, you branches. You're coming with me today. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, slowly, Mr. Slowly. Why do I have a chainsaw? Oh, go, 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 go. Hicks up with that, man. That was dangerous. Somebody could have got killed. Like me. That would have sucked. For me. Um, can... Can I do something about this? Or do we need to get a... Tr I'm gonna get stuck on this is what's gonna happen. Oh yeah. No, th 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 there is no way around this. I'm gonna get stuck on that. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go get Stump Grinder. The Rebold. Let's back this thing up by right here. Just kind of get out of the way. There we go. Perfect. Let's go get the Rayboard. Let's get this thing taken care of. Now this is more like it. This is what I'm talking about. Come on, baby, let's do it. How you doing? What you, what you up to? You look good over there, yeah. Mr. Tree, may I present to you my good friend, the Raybord Zylor. Raybord Zylor is really, really cool. If you don't even know about him, let me tell you a little bit about him. He's got teeth, Rawr. He's got little spikes on the bottom, Rawr. It's on a New Holland 8340. <laughs> or 8430? 8340! Yeah, yeah. We just gotta get it uh, kind of close to around. Uh oh. I'm, I'm going in. And get close. Bye bye. Tree's gone. That's what I'm talking about. If you didn't know, you get close to the bottom of the tree, it pretty much makes the tree disappear. It's very, very cool. Actually, you know what? We're gonna let this guy hang out because we might do a little bit more work with this today. Let's drop that off there and hop back in our T9. Now, this next part up here, I, I was talking to Jim about this yesterday and he couldn't figure out why people do this and I really couldn't either. This is how I won the races. Ha ha ha, calling you out. You know who it is. Use the wood right here. Oh. Because <laughs> it totally works. There we go. 
Use the wood because it helps you. Why am I stuck? You're a T9. You're better than like anything ever. A T8 made it through here. You can do this. Come on. Quit being a wussy. There we go. There we go. Yeah. See, this thing can do it. If any, th if this can do it, anything can do it. You heard that? Heard that? Yeah. Got him out. What's up? <laughs> So we're getting these stuff taken back. Uh, we are still in yesterday, uh, or to, today, I guess, seeing that we are today. So that is a thing. Um, we're getting everything put back, like I said. And then we got a little bit of work to do. I want to finish chaffing this field. We don't have a whole lot left, but we've just got just enough where we really need to just get it done get some silage made so that we can start selling it make a little bit extra cash that's what i would really really like to do getting this guy back over here this goes to mr silly p farm if you didn't know that's where we keep all the big equipment big equipment big fields that's right silly p farm right here also again i know it's been a couple days i know we brought it up everybody knows that we had a blast i just want to say it again thank you very much to everyone that joined us last sunday for the all-star live stream I mean, it was just so cool getting to just sit around and play Farming Simulator with a bunch of really cool guys. And it made my day, it made my week, really, is what it did. Uh, it was an absolute blast. Uh, big shout out Alien Jim, FS Club, Miss Silly P, Farmer Men, Golf Cart Jockey, Smoke. Uh, it, guys, it, I can't put any name in any order. I just have to put them in a hat and draw them out. <laughs> you guys rock. You really, really do. Uh, and it would not have come together without each and every one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you guys did to, to give up time during the day and everything to make that happen. It was dream true, true. Super awesome. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you go check it out. It is the last live stream that we did. Yeah. Speaking of live stream, we're going to be doing another live stream tomorrow. Friday live stream's coming back. I do not have an event this week. So... That means we get to live stream. Ho, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go get the semi truck. Here we go. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We got our man truck. We've got our crappy, make a big old trailer back here. 59,000 liter, I believe. See, we don't have much to do. We just got to get it done. That's the biggest thing. Get it done. Move it along. Move it along, baby. So, I think now is the perfect time. Get a little speedy, baby. Let's do it. We are done with the field. Let's see how much chap we got in here. 944,984 liters. That is pretty awesome. This is not pretty awesome, though. Come on, get up there. Come on, you little T9. Come on, you little bugger. Move it on, move it on. I know you can do this. You're just complaining. That's all you're doing. I don't want, I don't think I can. Yes, you can. Come on. 
Back and forth, baby. You know the drill. Back and forth. Back and forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little compact and done. This is going to take us a good little bit of time. Yes, it will. This is not going to be a fast thing by any means. However, we'll get it done. And we'll get it covered. And it'll be okay. That is it. That is good. Things are good. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Hindsight, maybe shouldn't have put everything way, way back here in the very back. Maybe I should have spread it out a little bit around. Maybe it would have made compacting a little bit easier. But regardless, we shall do it. Also, I did not have my coffee this morning. I did not. Nope. I had hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is delicious. You ever had hot chocolate instead of coffee in the morning? Give it a try. Just one day. It'll make it a little bit hyper. Hyper, hyper, hyper. Peace, 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 peace. Yes. <laughs> oh, seriously. It's it, it, pretty good. Not my, uh, not my cup of choice, but I'll take a hot chocolate. Good hot chocolate. All right. <sighs> this is going to take a minute. Hot minute. It's not, not make it too hot, but it is going to be warm. This minute will be warm. Hot minute. I've seen this few. This few? That ain't even a word. I'll see you in a minute. I've been going at this now for what feels like an eternity, but we are at 100%. Oh, yeah, y'all. Let's pull out of here. There we go. Stop that right there. Cover, 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 cover. Boom. Blanket and salut. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything is looking good. Yes. So, now we got to get this taken back. So, first things first, we need to turn the help window off. Yuck. Let's get this taken back. And then I got a few more things that I want to do. And I do want to come down and start getting some work done on G1. I've got some things that I want to do as far as remodel goes down here. I want to bring you guys along with me. Here's my plan here. I know that this field could be much, much larger. So one thing I'm going to do is we're just going to plow down here. I don't know if this spot, what's up with it, but there's just little spots every now and then, every little spot here and there, and there's nothing Nothing we nor Jim could do about it, but there we go. Got that. Bam. Also, I'm going to go around. I'm going to do a little bit of tree clearing because I want to extend this field out all the way. Now, this will continue to be our cornfield so we can do chaff. However, we will be coming around the edges of it and collecting corn. So it won't be chaffed. It'll just be corn. That's the plan. That's the way I want to go about it. And that's the way I think we're going to do it. So let's do it, baby. Yeah, yeah. I've got this end done. Everything that I wanted to do. I do. Uh, I thought I was going to come out, but I'm not. I am going to continue a straight line straight down through here. And then right through there. That's right. And then it's going to go all the way down through there on the right side but i want to continue it down even further which means i'm going to get my happy little booty on down straight down to the edge down here because there's a lot of trees down there as well now i can't remember who it was i think it was mr b gaming something like that said that this is not forestry this is not logging this is tree mowing i like that I like that a lot. I want to be a professional tree mower. If you guys need your trees done, why don't you take a listen to work from our sponsor today? Hey guys, this is DJ Goham, DJ Goham's tree mowing service. You ever thought about mowing a tree? I bet you haven't. All you gotta do is simply go up to the tree and mow it. You thought the DR chipper mower bush hog thingy was better on Nickelodeon when you were young watching TV? No, this is even better. Is a Rayboard Xylor coming to you from Black Sheep Modding. This is what we use exclusively to take care of all those pesky trees that are in the way of, say, a forest or a land or a tree. A tree in may of a tree. A tree could be in the way of a tree. A tree is a tree. Mow them down. Put DJ Go Ham's tree mowing service. Available now. 
kind of. And that was Word from our sponsor. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, looks like the tree mowing service is running into a... Oh, there we go. We got it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just... I want the trees on this map gone. Because I love the view. I love being able to see way out and be able to see all the distant lands and the, the islands and everything. I love being able to see that. And it's hard to see that. You got a bunch of freaking trees everywhere. Again, with this one, some people have uh, asked me, you know, how do you get this to work every time? You just pull up to it barely, just barely, just enough to where it'll start recognizing the tree and you'll start to hear it. You'll start to hear it go, and just stop. And it'll do the rest. Pull up to it, right there. Actually, I may have pulled up a little too far. Yep, I did pull up a little too far. Simply just back up. And it'll take care of it. That was about that. So we got a couple more to do here. Uh, I wasn't going to go all the... Well, I was going to go all the way out, but I didn't realize we had these bushes over here. Um, and these trees are starting to give me a little bit of a problem. Starting to leave these little chunks. I don't like those chunks. Ah, there's a bug in my face. I just hit myself in my glasses. No. Anyway, back to my stupidity. Let's see if we can finish getting at least, meh, one more row of these trees done. That way we can get the field on down just a little bit further. Make it look a little bit cooler, a little more industrial down here near the BGA. Well, I've kind of gone about as far as I really want to. Uh, the landscape looks nothing like it did. I mean, even with just the trees missing, it looks totally different. I love that. I think that's so cool. It's amazing how you just come through, delete a couple trees, well, sorry, mow a couple trees with DJ Goham Street Mowing Service, and then bam, the, the whole area looks completely different. How cool is that? I think that's awesome. I like that very, very much so. So, let's get this put away here. Let's go find us a tractor. There we go. Let's go find us a tractor with a plow on the back. Here we go. We got our plow. We got our uh, roller on the front just in case because we don't trust ourselves. Let's unfold this. Let's drop it down. And let's just see kind of what our LUDs look like. Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So what we want to do is we want to go about right here. And... Set to create fields. There we go. Now all we have to do is go straight. Which might be a bit of a challenge for us. Seeing that we can never drive in a straight line. Oh boy. We're getting close to not being in a straight line anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And turn. Yuck, yay. <laughs> not too bad bad not too bad at all this ought to give us just a little bit extra reach uh on our field here and we can go around the circle It'd be just fine this is great this is really good and it's gonna be nice because all we have to do is come back through with the cultivator and the planter and boom we're good again we've got more corn and we can start doing chaff again if we really wanted to. Uh, we might, might not, I don't know, but we're gonna plan it and we're gonna be ready for it just in case. I figure this field here is probably the best one to be doing the, the corn chaff with, uh, just because we're right over here, right by the BGA. We can just bam, right in, right in the bunker. And then as soon as it ferments in the bunker, then all we have to do is simply get a couple of the there we go bam so this line right through here um all we have to do is get a couple we call those things the the things with the the belt yes belt systems all we have to do is get a couple belt systems and that'll take care of it for us yes everything is good good things are happening on here also, I want to welcome all of the new subscribers. 
Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Oh yeah, forgot, Forge Harvester's down here. We're gonna need to move that. And just like magic, it has disappeared. Where did it go? It is gone. <laughs> All right, come through here. I know that these don't plow up, but I'm gonna take their land area anyway. I don't care. Just don't freaking care. Come through here. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -boo. This land is our land. It is not your land. I will take it and turn it into chaff. Yeah. And I think that's about right. I need to remember because I don't know up here. Um, how far down this goes? Oh, that's right. It's not really a straight line down through there, is it? Well, let's swing this by. Let's drop this down. So it looks like this kind of continues out right into the road. So we are going to do the exact same thing. Straight down, right into the road. You never even knew there's a road down here. And then we'll join it up right here. Bam! That is our new field. Now all we have to do is connect the areas and get all this stuff filled in. And then we come through here with the cultivator. Cultivate all this up. Then we'll come right behind it with a cedar. And that's pretty much it. Very easy, very simple to do. Again, I encourage you guys, when you get on a map, if you have the opportunity, create new fields, make it your own. It is so much fun to get on and know like, oh yeah, you know, I took the boundaries of that field and, and made it my own. I, I did that. The shape is mine. You know, I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. Maybe, maybe not. Someone could have done the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. I don't know. And that is one of the coolest things about it. You just don't know. But for now, at least for me, this is my own. And I, and like I said, I'll do it again. I'll say it again. Let's do it. Go ham. I encourage you. Jump on whatever map you're on. Jump in. Create new fields. Plow two fields together. Yes, it's more work. Yes, it's different. It's awesome. It is so awesome. The feeling you get of just being in one of your own fields and saying like, you know, this map is now my own. I am I am doing something awesome with this. I think that's the coolest thing. I think that's really, really cool. So let's finish up. We're going to hit this down here. We're going to plow all this. We're going to run up and get our cultivator. We're going to hit a couple headlands. And then we're going to grab our planter and do the exact same thing. Because I want to get some more corn in this ground. Tell you, really not much more to do if I'm completely honest. All we got to do is open this guy up. Get our cultivating done. We're going to hit uh, hit a few headlands. Probably, probably going to go one at the top. And then come around the same way. Reverse. Let's go and drop that down. And here we go. Yeah, this is working just fine. This is, well, this is perfect, is actually what this is. Oh, yeah. Now, this cultivator, if you guys don't know this one, if you're not familiar with this uh, Bednar, uh, this is from the Big Bud Pack. The Big Bud Pack is absolutely amazing and has a lot of really, really cool gadgets in it. Uh, things that only work with certain things so uh, for example the single point hitch to three point hitch a lot of people have been seeing that saying oh you know how'd you get that where'd you get that from you know how do you get that big butt pack and it is awesome now don't worry it will be part of the base game for fs19 that is confirmed but for fs17 if you want it you gotta get the big butt pack you know what? this is nice we're coming along just fine 
it always looks real weird right before you start doing everything because you get the way the field used to look and then you get your <coughs> excuse me guys I'm still still dying over here hire a worker uh, just to get that straight line uh, you get the plowed with the the old texture and then all of a sudden just all disappears into one cultivated business yes so again we're gonna hit straight down this line and we're gonna take care of all of the funky stuff down here at the bottom and we're gonna go get a planter do the same thing and then we will be all done almost done down here we've got something to do today one last thing before we take off you might be able to see it off in the distance over there 8340 is attached to it but what is it what is that over there is that an animal trailer no why would there be an animal trailer over there well i'll give you a hint has to do with the bear oh yeah is he done he is done let's go and fold this up we'll drag it over here we do have our corn we'll, we'll get it planted it, eventually eventually we'll get it planted but for right now we need to go take something to the bear see the bear took one of my pigs the other night and I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't happy at all. So, instead of him taking from us, we are going to give him something. We are going to give him a cow. Yep, yeah, we're, we're gonna give him a cow. I bought a cow. Cow's at our farm. We're gonna go load it up. And we're gonna take it to the bear. I'm sorry. It's not that I wanted to. It's just something that has to be done. Let's go across here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. It's it's for it's for my my animal's own good. I'm trying to get him used to or her or cubs or whatever. I'm trying to get them used to not eating pigs. Pigs are my animals on the farm. Told them to take the cows, cause we don't, we don't have cows. <sighs> I'm not happy about this, but we have to do it to save our own animals. <sighs> why, oh why? We didn't have to do this. It didn't have to come to this. But the darn, uh, that bear. I'm sorry, cow. I know all you want to do is be left alone in to roam. But I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's, it's just your time. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I don't want to do this. You know, it'd be funny if it put a different cow in the trailer than I bought. Ah, I got a bug in my face. Yeah, Get out of here. I know I'm in a cow pasture, but dang. Load. Confirm. Yes. Ha! <laughs> it did put a different cow in there. <laughs> oh. Can, can we not load the same cows in it out? That was a black and white one, and this is a brown one. Brown cow. Don't make no daggum sense. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. <sighs> Messing with my storyline here. Well, we've got our cow. I think you know what's about to happen. You guys ever seen uh, Jurassic Park? The very first one, very beginning. Actually have a uh, something kind of like this, actually. They got the cow, and they lower it into the Velociraptors. And what do the Velociraptors do? Would well, they eat it. They got rah, 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 rah. I, I feel bad. I do. I feel bad for the cow. But this is something hopefully 
that's going to make everything much better for us. Well, we don't have to worry about the bear anymore. At least for another couple days. <laughs> Sorry, cow. You are about to meet your demise. And your demise comes in the form of one mama bear and two baby bear. Oh. Not, not happy about this. Not proud of it. But, uh... It, uh, it is what it is. Yup. Brought you something. So, uh, I'm not gonna show you guys this. This is, this is gonna be dangerous. But, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not here, please subscribe. If you guys wanna see more, let me know. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, it's a bear. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, oh we'll see you later. Peace.